Hey y'all, it's Cody X with BarOS. Today we'll be going over your Toxary 3 CO and H2S monitors. Specifically, we'll be showing you how to do a fresh air and span calibration. Let's get started. Here's your CO and H2S monitor. You will have to turn on the unit by pressing the mode button, holding it down for approximately three seconds. then go through a 60 second uh, fresh air calibration. After its warm up period, it will come into a live reading mode. It will have your battery indicator in the top left hand corner. If it may need to be cowled, it will alarm and have a little cow indicator underneath the battery. To start with a fresh air calibration, you will have to hold down both buttons for approximately three seconds. It will then come to a standard code. The code standard is 111. You will have to use the Y plus button to change the number to 1 and the mode button to switch over. After this is inputted, you will have to hold down the mode button. It will then come to your zero calibration. You will start it by hitting the Y plus button. After its 15 second fresh air calibration, it will show you what it cal to and that it is finished. You will then come to a span cal. If you may not want to proceed to the span cal, you may hit the mode button and exit out of the diagnostic mode. That is how you properly do a fresh air calibration on a Toxray 3 CO. To do a span calibration on your CO meter, you will need 50 ppm of CO a 0.5 regulator, and the adapter. The adapter goes over the sensor, which is located on the right. What is located on the left is actually your buzzer. Again, we will start by going into the diagnostic mode by holding both buttons down. Again, your code is 111. So yes, mode, yes, mode, yes, hold down the mode button to get into the diagnostic mode. You will then come to the zero cal. Skip it by hitting the mode button. It will then come to the span. To start the span calibration, you will want to attach the adapter to the sensor cover. It snaps right on. You will then select yes to start the span calibration. You will then turn on the gas and it will count down from 60 seconds. At the end, it will tell you what it cowed to. To end it, you may hit the Y plus button. I would then turn off the gas and disconnect the adapter. If you do leave the units in the diagnostic mode for too long, it will go back to its regular reading mode. But instead, we are going to select the mode button and scroll over to the end button. Then select yes to exit. That is how you calibrate the Toxiray 3 CO. To span calibrate your Toxiray 3 H2S meter, you will need 25 parts per million of H2S. You will also need the 0.5 constant flow regulator that we use for the CO and the same adapter that we use for the CO. To span calibrate the H2S meter, you will use the same steps that we did with the CO meter. You will hold down the mode and the Y plus button. The code for the H2S meter is the same as the CO meter, one, one, one. It will prompt you to the zero calibration or fresh air calibration. You will then select the Y plus button to start it. After the fresh air or zero calibration, it will show you the reading and that it is finished. Select the Y plus to continue. The span calibration, you will connect the adapter to the sensor cover. Turn on the gas and select yes to start the countdown. At the end of the calibration, turn off the gas and disconnect the adapter. To exit out of the screen, you may select the mode button 
to scroll over to the end button. When at the end button, select the Y plus button. You're back in normal reading mode. That completes your fresh air and span calibration on your Toxray 3CO and H2S meter. If you happen to need any of the supplies that we have here today, please contact us at sales at farwestemv.com. That's it, y'all. Y'all have a great day. Cody Hicks, signing off.